Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the, what is it, full moon. So the 8th, the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, you know, the timing is fluid, so we're just going to see what comes up. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? <laughs> because that's what I wanted to say, so you better be ready. Something, something significant is going to happen, I think. I do, I do, I do, I do. What do we have for an upcoming energy? What do we have? I'll take these. Justice! Karma! I hope you're ready. I love it, don't you? So yeah, I mean the very first card doesn't get any better than that. So, yeah. A decision is being made. A final decision. Something is becoming final. Alright? Um, it's like something, it's like somebody, something is being, uh, straight through, okay, straight through, this is, it's something is being seen, okay, we're getting to the end of a situation, okay, um, somebody, it's like you can't get away with it, you can't get away with the injustice, you can't get away with the lies, there's no toleration for lies here. So, the laws of karma. This is a card also of consequences. So, karma is about to play out. Something has been imbalanced. Okay, there's an imbalance here. So, get ready. Get ready for a realignment, per se. This realignment is going to bring things more... You know, on an equal playing field, okay? It, it's it's going to bring balance to a situation. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is about self-sufficiency, enjoying the finer things in life. There's going to be some sort of increase, or there has been, um... We have an independent person who is very stable. This person is independent, stable, solid, secure, hard worker. There's justice for this person. Okay? There's justice for this person. This person that has worked hard. They have worked hard to obtain success on their own. This person knows that they don't need anybody else to do, that for, do it for them. They have done it themselves. So this is somebody who has picked themselves up. They may have been treated unfairly, though. We definitely have somebody here that has been treated unfairly. But now this person has risen, all right? They've risen from their the, the depth of despair, okay? They have. They've worked really, really, really hard. They've nurtured themselves. They've invested in themselves. They've invested in um, their career. They've invested in their home. This person has worked really hard to obtain success by themselves. Now this person is going to be getting some justice for having to do it alone. Interesting. The chariot. Okay, so this is an arrival of some sort. This is also determination and mental strength. And this one is too. We definitely have somebody here that is about, I think this person's about to receive something. A lot of self-discipline here with both of these cards. Now, you notice this has the door open. It's like the door is open. Five of Swords. Yes, this person has been treated unfairly. They have. They've, they've been belittled. They've been cut down. It's like they've been shamed. Somebody has been really, really mean to this person. They have. Take a look at that. This person, somebody has been really, really, really mean. Nasty. But now, uh, 
this person has risen from it, has learned from it. Yeah, has picked themselves up. This person has picked themselves up from this person that hurt them. You know, they didn't let them, let it take them down. This is uh, moving in a new direction. It's like somebody is coming. Now, what the hell is this? This is an arrival of some sort. The Queen of Swords reversed. We have a nasty individual here. We do. Could be the wicked stepmother. This could be, this is just a, a wicked individual. Okay. A nasty ex. Um, and this could be a male or a female. This is somebody who is re revengeful, vindictive, hateful, um, selfish. Uh, this person needs to cut other people down because of they feel so terrible about themselves. The only way they can make themselves feel better is to treat other people like shit because it makes them feel better. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, we have somebody here that um, has been belittling another person force them to walk away but the, it brought this person strength okay it, it made this person find their strength to overcome this nasty individual so somebody had to find their strength to persevere and they have they have found their strength because now this person is stronger than they ever were before but this chariot is an arrival of some sort. That's an arrival. It's something arriving. You know, justice is arriving. <laughs> karma is arriving. Now, karma is arriving for this nasty individual who tried to hurt this, per this person up here. I love it. So karma is arriving for both people. Because if you think about the chariot, there's 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 two sides, right? There really, really is. And same with this. So both people are receiving karma. I love it. I do, I do, I do. And it's funny, I keep on saying I do, I do. I said it before too. So this person is receiving, you know, there's always two sides. There's two sides. And we do have two sides. We have two people here. We have somebody that had to rise above this nasty individual's abuse. Okay? And, and they have. So the abuser is going to receive some karma and the person that picked themselves up is also going to receive some karma and there's two sides there's good karma and there's bad karma so we definitely have some karma that is about to be delivered get ready remember i said get ready for it and i didn't before i even laid out any cards so get ready for a delivery of karma a delivery of karma interesting Yeah, we have a lot of hard work here. Somebody has put in a lot of effort to move forward to this person. You notice where it's connected. This person has worked really, really hard to master their emotions and move past this abusive situation. They have. And it wasn't easy because they were they were feeling defeated by this. So this person, it's like this person really, really made them feel like shit made them feel terrible. This person had no morals, had no conscious conscience, none. But it did make this person stronger. This person worked really hard to bring success to their lives. They had to, they really found their determination to uh persevere through this situation. This is a, definitely an abusive situation. Somebody was dealing with a really nasty individual and they worked really, really, really hard to move past it and not let it get the best of them. Who is this nasty individual? What kind of message do we have for this person? Ooh, seven of, of uh, pentacles. Now you notice there's rose bushes there with the seven of pentacles. Somebody may get... Um, you know what's on a rose bush? Thorns. Thorns. You know, it's a. It, hmm. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Was it worth it to hurt this person? Because that is what the Seven of Pentacles is. It's like, was it worth it? So this nasty individual is probably going to be thinking, they may be, was it worth it? Was it worth it? Hmm. Ooh. This nasty individual is probably going to have a loss of some sort with that Queen of Pentacles reversed. This nasty individual is very jealous. 
very possessive, very, uh, not very, uh, she's not a natural, right? She's not a natural mother. She's not very kind. She's not very gentle. She's not very graceful. She or he, this person is not grounded, not down to earth, very shallow. We have a nasty individual that is very shallow, very, 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 very revengeful. I think they're about to get cut. They're about to get cut. It's like something, and this may have to do with something about seven years ago, maybe seven years or 14 years ago. Something that, something, there's good, something that happened years ago is now uh, coming back to haunt you. The Three of Cups. There's something below the surface here that is about to be shown. There is. Some, obviously, something has been hidden. Hidden below the surface. But it's about to pop up. It is about to pop up. Interesting. Listen to it outside. I got my window open. Whew. Queen of Cups reversed. Oh my God. There's been a lot of gossip. There's been a lot of uh, enemies disguised as friends. It's like there's a team up here. We have, we have the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. That's bitchy women. Okay? This is, this is like a, a team up. It's like three against one. It is. Three against one. And it doesn't have to be women. It could be two women and a man. It, whatever. There's, there's, there's a, it's like a gang up. We do have a gang up. It's like this, this person that ganged up on this individual is going to uh, be dealing with some consequences. They are going to be dealing with some consequences. This, this person that was the orchestrator of it all um, is going to have a big loss. They are going to have a big loss. Because something is about to happen. There is something below the surface that hasn't been seen yet. These people have been uh, having a grand old time gossiping and running their mouth and poking this individual. They have. They've been really having a great time bringing this person down and gossiping and talking and saying a bunch of nasty shit. Right? They have. They've just been having a grand old time. But. I have to tell you what goes around comes around and karma is about to hit somebody right in the ass and it could be via a vehicle because that's what it, when I said hits when I started to say when I got to the word hit it's like I, it's like a car crash hitting the ass so somebody may get hit in the ass but anyhow and that could be their karma I don't know but anyway um we have a very with all these queens reversed this is very uh it's a very nasty situation. It is. It is very nasty. Um, we have these people that are working together to really bring this person. They're so jealous. Very, very, very jealous. Very jealous. And they're jealous of this person's status, right? They're jealous of this person's uh, groundedness. They're jealous of this person's nature. This person is generous. This person over here, these people are jealous as hell. They really are. But you better be thinking, was it worth it? Because that's what you are going to be thinking by the time this is over. Was it worth it? That vindictive behavior, that maliciousness that you're all engaged in, was it worth it? Oh my goodness gracious. Something is about to be lit up. Absolutely. Light is about to be shed. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, a three of wands and you're not prepared for it these people these bitches or these nasty individuals are not prepared for what is about to pop up just so you know <laughs> sorry I can't help but laugh I know that was I had to anyway yeah these people are not prepared for what is about to pop up something is about to get lit right up 
It's like a fire is going to get lit right underneath somebody's ass. And it is going to be hot. It's like they're going to be in the hot seat. They are going to be in the hot seat. Somebody's going to be in the hot seat. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh. Ace of Cups reverse. That is emotional. Shut, shut down. It's going to be emotional. They, there's going to be probably some tears shed. It's going to be a, a lot of tears that are shed. Somebody could end up sobbing. Maybe somebody is going to really regret what they did. Absolutely they are. It feels like somebody is going to see. It's because the light gets turned on. It's like somebody is going to see. Maybe it's karma. Is Maybe it's another person. Somebody is going to see what these people have done or who these people are. <laughs> and this is sh shutting down emotionally. Two of Pentacles reverse. Somebody made a poor decision. They made some serious poor decisions. And now there's there's going to be a change. We have somebody here that is about to. It's like they're going to. Things are going to get turned upside down. There's going to be some chaos. It's like the, the, they're about to fall. They're about to fall from power. Um, something is going to cost some money. They're going to they're going to lose some um, sort of something financially. There's going to be financial chaos. There's going to be emotional. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be an emotional time. The light is going to be shed on whoever they are as a person, and uh, they are not prepared for for what about what is about to be shown because of this Three of Cups. It's been below the surface. It hasn't been shown. They've been thinking that this is all fun and games, and it's great. You know, their they, their nastiness is great. It's been really, you know, making them feel good. Whoever these people are, or person, it could be one person taking on all these energies. This person has been, you know, uh, having a grand old time running this other person down. But now it's like the uh, the light gets turned on on who this person is. And this person is probably going to get burned. This person's going to get burned. And they're going to cry. It's going to be emotional. There's probably going to be an emotional. This person's probably going to have an emotional outburst. And there could be, there could, instead of one loss, there could be two losses. You remember I said that earlier, but I said one, there could be a loss. There is going to be a loss, but not, instead of one, there's going to be two. So somebody could be losing two things instead of one. If they've already lost one, they could be losing two, whatever that means to you. Um, hmm. Somebody bit off more than they could chew. They absolutely did. Ooh. Ooh, the star card reverse. There's illness here. There's a lot of arrogance as well. This is like a why. Why, 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 why is this happening? This is happening because you were so nasty in the past. That is why this is happening. This is what karma does. It never loses an address. You should have been nice. You shouldn't have acted like that. You shouldn't have done that. I hope you're happy. You shouldn't have done that. You should have thought about it way back then, you dumbass. You asked for it. We have a relationship that is ending. Somebody may want another chance as well. Somebody may 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 even be asking for forgiveness. And I don't I don't need any cards for that. That message came to me this morning. So somebody wants another chance chance they probably you know are having regrets for hurting another person and they've you know gotten this light bulb moment and maybe karma hit them and now they see that they should have invested in this person that was genuine a long time ago 
So anyway, I feel as though there is about to be um, some movement, okay? There's about to be some movement towards a very self-sufficient, independent person who has worked really hard to uh, become successful and they had no support from anybody. This person had no support. This person that had no support, that worked really hard to become successful, is going to be receiving something and it's good. These jealous individuals are, uh, well, I feel as though they're going to get something that they absolutely deserve as well. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. Um, it's not going to be pretty. It's probably going to hurt. This is like a catastrophe that is coming to an end. Goodbye. How do you like it? How does it feel? I think this independent person is is somebody is arriving into this independent person's life. This person has had to pick themselves up from a nasty situation. They have. They were brought down to their knees by another individual or by individuals. And they've had to do it by themselves. They've had to pick themselves up and get to this place of comfort all by themselves. This independent person that is alone and has been alone is somebody is arriving into this person's life. And I think that there's an opportunity for a relationship. It's like this person that is coming in is going to put in effort to get this person to get into a relationship with them. This could be somebody coming back as well. I feel like it's somebody that wants to come back as well. This person could be coming back, but it could be somebody new. This independent person is receiving an offer. There's, I'm sure of it. Somebody wants to put in effort to help this person. Even though this person doesn't need any help, has proven themselves, this person right up here has somebody arriving into their life. It's like this person wants to, wants to rescue them, even though this person doesn't need rescuing, but... You know, I want to, I want to take you somewhere. I want to take care of you. Yeah, I want to take care of you. So. Also over here, somebody has experienced some karma. From a third party situation. It's like they left this person who was genuine and loyal for somebody else. And now they've received some karma of their own. That's another story. I mean, perhaps the person that they invested in didn't love them. Didn't love them. There's a lack of love here. Ace of Cups reversed. And it's like, it's like I wish, I really wish I wouldn't have left that one. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. Well... You shouldn't have, you know, invested in something on a rebound just to hurt another person. Especially when you're dealing with it. That's the Empress and the Minor Arcana. This person's already been through a lot of shit. So we have a very strong, independent person that has somebody arriving into their life. And whoever is arriving is willing to do whatever it takes to make it work. That's what I see. Good luck.